Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the reselling white boy, John Luke. And today, just got a bit of a haul video, really, which is a bit of a new one for this time. Um, how are you all doing? I uh, hope you're all doing well. If you enjoy the video, hit like, hit subscribe, and leave a comment if you've been picking up anything recently, where from, and, you know, how, how's the business going? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to talk you through a couple of things I picked up. A couple of things that I got given uh, that I can sell on as well. And just a few bits um, going forward, what I'm going to plan with a few of my listings and a little update on the shed as well and um, where we're at with that. Uh, so if you didn't know, I'm going to be converting the shed into a stock room and office. So yeah, I'll talk you through all of this in today's video. Really warm in the loft today, so I'm going to try and be as quick as I can. Keep it under 10 minutes. Okay, so I was going to B&M, um, so I was dropping a few bits off at my Nana's house, a few essential bits and bobs. I got her, um, got me Nana's partner a crate of beer, I got my Nana a bottle of wine and a few candles and whatnot, and we took a few bits round, just to give them a little bit of uh, cheering. Um, we kept our distance, it was just strictly that journey, but we went to B&M uh, to get a few bits as well, a few essential like, groceries, and I managed to pick up a few bits for eBay, which is a positive. Um, so we'll talk you through them now. So it's these Five Nights at Freddy's figures. As you can see there, Five Nights at Freddy's. So we've got a Freddy, Foxy. So we've got two of these Foxes. So there's the other one. Foxy. And a Golden Freddy. You can see there. Whoop, that way. So really cool figures. They are made by Funko. So it's the Funko Pop um company funko um so yeah really well made figures 2016 and they cost me 9.99 each so i paid up for them but i think golden freddy is about 30 pounds can push higher than that um the foxy is about 25 uh oh that was a freddy but the two foxes 25 and the freddy's just over 20 maybe a little bit less so about 21 uh obviously i'm gonna aim top end with these and they should go in the first cycle but they are really cool figures as you can see quite a scary game if you've ever seen it before would recommend it quite a jumpy game but yeah there's those six you can collect um and there was literally the only them four in so i thought you know get them all it's not a punt because i know there's money in them you paid up you paid 40 pound after all but after them all you probably get about 100 pound back so you know you got to take what you can get nowadays and i do enjoy trading in action figures and stuff like that so that's a positive for me uh, it's always fun to do so um, so the next thing is, I went to see my nana um, and her partner, Tom, and Tom loves his jigsaws. He's always doing jigsaws all the time. Um, so every time I go around, every other month or whatnot, he's always got a few jigsaws to, to give me. You know, he only does them once or twice and then gets rid. So I've, I've, I grabbed them off him. I said, yeah, if you don't want them, you know, I'll clear the space for you. And um, they know that I sell them and stuff, you know, they're happy to, to do that. Um, so I'll just talk you through the ones I got. I thought some of them weren't great, but I've actually searched most of them up. There's only one that's not got great money in. Um, they're all obviously used. They're all complete. Um, so I was looking at each individual one. I've not, obviously, I've not written down all the prices for each one, but they're all over £10. Uh, there's some that are like £15, which is surprising for a pre-owned jigsaw. But I'm guessing with, obviously, it's just online services at the minute. A lot of people are buying jigsaws, you know, to keep them occupied and they can't go to the shops to buy them, you know, go to like a charity shop or whatnot, like they would usually do. Um, so I'll just talk you through. Obviously, I'm not a jigsaw expert, so don't expect anything mind blowing. But yeah, I'll just talk you through. If you, you know, in the future, if you do see any jigsaws like this, um, you know, take a punt on a pound. Obviously, it's the only thing is with buying jigsaws, you've got to count all the pieces. And that's, you know, that's why you get stung, really. It's a lot of time. But obviously, he's already done them all. He's counted them out. He already knows they're all there. So that's a positive. And obviously, it's all profit because I've not paid a penny. Okay, doke. The first one is a treffle jigsaw of a, it's a river in New Zealand. The Arrow River in New Zealand. So, yeah, nice, cool jigsaw. R lovely, picturesque place. I'd love to go to New Zealand. Really nice place. Really nice jigsaw. I think this is the lowest value one. Might be about £10, £8 to £10. Um, so yeah, that's the lowest one. Next one, I couldn't find anything on this one. It's a jumbo. Uh, it's like a German brand jumbo. Um, that's another thousand piece one. It's lots of cats. Yeah, the British blue is the cat that I've got. Uh, my Klaus. So yeah, really nice jigsaw. There's um, a few jumbo, jumbo ones with cats on and stuff that are about £15. Um, I can't find this one anywhere, so 
you know, I'll just look at a ballpark figure for that. But I'm, I'll look for 10 to 15 pounds on that one. Next one, we've got a Manhattan Celebrations. It's a New York scene, like an animated New York scene. Really cool, really vibrant, really vibrant. And that's a WH Smith one from 2010. Um, people were getting over £10 for that one too. So yeah, really nice one. This one's really cool. It's a summer romance one. So it's just a little scene with the boy and the girl there and a beautiful garden with lots of vibrant colours again. Lots of flowers, lots of trees, got a little robin up there. So yeah, really cool one. A little bit of box damage, but this shouldn't affect the value really because people only buy them to do them really. I don't think many people store the jigsaws. I'm sure someone does collect jigsaws in pristine condition. It's probably still sealed in box. Um, actually, I've just seen this. WH Smith. Three missing. So that's the one that he mentioned. Yeah, three missing on that. My bad. My bad. But yeah, all the rest are complete, he said. Um, next one is an Urban Art Cottage. Uh, I've seen a different variant of this. So the same picture, different brand, over £10. Box is really nice. Um, so yeah. Looks like a decent brand, well-made box, over £10 for that one. I'll, up, I'll update you on all of these when I get them listed. Uh, this is the best brand I know of. It is the Wazgij. 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 But yeah, that's um, an animated scene you can see there. Um, really cool one. It's made by Jumbo again. Uh, Jumbo's quite a good brand for them. But yeah, what is the actual scenery? Hmm. 14th century castle. So yeah, it's like a lot of modern tourists in a castle. It's quite a cool one. Um, probably be a tough one to make, actually. Well, I think all jigsaws are pretty tough. The last one was over £10 as well, 12 to £15. And um, it's Waterloo Station. So as you can see there, lots and lots of people. Very busy, very busy scene. Um, yeah, really tough. Is that just the one? It's got 1848, 1948. I don't know if it's all the same picture. Just a hundred years in between. I think that's how it's done. But yeah, really cool nonetheless. So all of those, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of them. They're all going to be about ten pounds or a little bit more. Um, so you know, there's about fifty pound there, um, which is really good. You know, it keeps me ticking over. It keeps me listing. I even though I've got a load of rubbish to list still. Anyway, uh, it's just nice, nice to get a bit of something fresh through the door. And I'm probably know some of you are feeling the same at the minute. Um, so next thing I'm going to go through is this Halo 2 set that I got. Halo 2, Halo 1, 2, and the multiplayer pack. Got this in a bundle for Xbox Original. Um, I paid £50 for, I've kept the Xbox, um, and I've literally kept all the games as well. I literally just got, got rid of this because I've already got Halo 1, 2 and that, and it's literally got about £50, £60 value. Uh, so I literally get my money back on that. Um, the only thing is, I had it on for £50, £55. A lot of watches. And then people, you know, biting at it, it's, you know, can you do it a bit less, can you do it a bit less? Because Halo 2 and Halo multiplayer pack, both sealed. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to split this up. I'm going to sell Halo 2 on its own sealed. That'll be about 30. Multiplayer pack sealed, which you can't even play anymore, but people will store it sealed like that. About 20 for that. And then Halo 1 is not sealed, but it's literally pristine. Um, not been touched, really. So I'll just sell that as mint condition. I am um, probably not much in that six, seven, eight pound. Uh, and a little two two month free trial from about fifteen years ago. So it's no one will get used out of that. But yeah, it's just something I'm switching a little few things up. I think I've got out of the week uh, listing thing. We've got the um, pound value, pound final value fees. I've got about thirty five listings that I need to do. Um, I think I've used about six to. About 50, so I might be halfway there. So I've literally got the rest of Friday, which is today. This will come out Friday night, and I've got Saturday, Sunday that you need to work through. So, yeah, lots to do, lots to do. Okay, so what I'm going to sort through now, well, talk through now, just a few bits that I've got in my backlog that I always keep banging on. Oh, I've got this all this rubbish in my backlog, so I'm just going to talk you through a few bits that I'm going to be sorting out over the weekend. So I've got loads of uh, clothes that I photograph that need listings. So I'm going to work on them tonight. Just have a relaxing night. A couple of beers and just keep whacking the listings on. Um, but let me just move the map. But <clears throat> just going to talk you through a few bits um, that are just not great. But they need to move. I've had them a few years. They've just been stuck, stuck, stuck inside. So what I'm going to do, just start through. First one 
is a Ahsoka from Star Wars The Clone Wars uh, fancy dress. Little kid one, little girls one. Yeah, just little bits like this that just need to go up. Uh, I think there's a few pair of jeans. So this, what size they are? Jasper Conran jeans. Yeah. So I'm not even sure there's any money in these anymore. 36 waist. Got a pair of Levis or Levi's, however you fancy seeing it. Pair of flared ones. Yep, little flares. Can see that. Um, we got a screw or scramble. It's home again. Um, I think I checked this and it is complete. Uh, I swear I took photos a while ago for this. But yeah, about £15 on that, I believe. Might not actually, might have been a different one. I think it was a different one that I pictured. I need to have a good look at that. Next one is a electronic lab. 131 electronic lab. Uh, it's got all the bits and bobs. There you go. Not great money in this. I actually, a bit of a fail on this. I paid £7 at a car boot sale about a year ago. Um, so yeah, I think what I did, I searched it. I just saw £30, £40, £50 and I just thought, oh, I'll buy it because I couldn't get any signal. But there's loads of little bits that you just don't know what's actually in there. Um, but yeah, it's got its manual. It's in the box. It looks in good shape. So I'm definitely going to get my money back on that. I know you can't see my face, by the way. I do apologise. Let me just seal that a little bit. Whoop, there we go. Radio, last few bits. Just a random handful that I've just picked out. I've not got loads and loads, but... Right, this next one is a very creepy doll that talks. But yeah, she's meant to have clothes, I do believe, last time I checked. I think she's about £30. I'm not even sure where she's from now. Let's have a look. Ace Novelty Company, 1993, made in China. But yeah, very weird. Probably one for Halloween, that really. I did pick it up around September, I think. So I should have really got that one up. Uh, let's see what else have we got. Next few bits, literally loads of cards. Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. What are those? Jewel Master cards. I did actually split them up for... I did split them up a while ago for listings, different random stuff. I had no idea about this stuff. I never used to collect any of it. Um, and I don't think there's a great money in a lot of it at all. Um, they might be the odd card that's got a little bit of value. But I picked them up years ago. Loads of trainer cards. I think I split them up together. Um, I, never, I never was a big Pokemon fan. Um, just loads of random cards, like there's some decent looking ones, but you don't know if they are actually decent. Um, so if any of you know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh, tell me, tell me the ones to look out for. But there is some sleeves and stuff, it was like a small collection, but there was like, is it Three Eyes White Dragon or something like that? There's a few of those and a few different bits like that that I thought, mm, I'll take a punt for like a pound for the whole lot. But I literally have no clue about any of it, let me just have a quick look in it. Triangle power, thousand energy. Just random stuff that like, literally it's like a foreign language to me. So anyone knows anything about Pokemon cards or anything like Yu-Gi-Oh cards, let me know. I think I did sell some in the past. Some of the best better ones might have gone already, so there might not actually be any there. And then there's just some random match attacks from like 2014. I don't think there's any value in those either. But this is what my backlog consists of, a load of rubbish for the most part. Um I shouldn't say rubbish because it's someone else's treasure in it, but yeah, Jewel Masters, I've never heard of them. I don't think they took off. Oh, there's a bloody piece of that. Bloody electronic kit on the loose. So yeah, playing cards, stuff like that. I have no idea. Uh, last little bit. It's a little random CD set. You might have this in a pickup video. I think it was about 12 quid in that, to be honest. But it cost me, what? 2 99 probably flip it into 15 Nothing major. It looks cheap as nuts. Cheap as nuts. But yeah, that's... Ooh, a few other bits that are just random as well. Sorry if you a few little bit. Just a random little duplo set. Um, I don't think it's all there. The cat and the dog's in there. So they might be all there. Um, cat. Dog. I don't think that little star piece is in there. So yeah, just an incomplete set. Random. I don't know if the, the cat and the dog are worth selling. Just, just worth bundling together. But yeah, that's been around for years. 
got a little copy of Rayman on the PS1, which is complete. Just, the only thing is, it smashed to bits. So I just need to put a new case on that. But yeah, disc is fine. Complete with manual, slip covers, which is cool. Just need to re case that one. Another one is a shipment sweetie costume, fancy dress. So I just need to make sure all that's there. I think the charity shop did say it was all there. So we'll see what we can get for that. About 15, 20 pound with a bit of luck. And then the last little piece, which I've been meaning to look at for donkey's years. Is this. You can see there. Tea set. So it's a silver tea set. You can see the mark on the bottom. It is Oinada USA. That's going to focus. So as you can see there, Oinada USA. And this is marked on the whole lot. So the tray, I think the it was £3 for that. £2 for the tray. And these were a pound each. The only thing is, there's just a top missing for one of these. So it's a full set. Uh, I'm not sure where the iron aider is on there. Yeah, it is there. You can see a little bit. And then this, it is on there as well. The iron aider stamp. So yeah, what I need to do is I need to figure out a really good way of cleaning this up nicely because I, I can, you can see on this teapot, it's really looking a bit worse for wear. Um, I don't know how much I can do to this. There's that guy... Um, who goes on with Nick a few times talking about silver, so I might have to give them a rewatch. But if anyone knows anything about cleaning up silver and, um, you know, just making it look nice, really, just giving it a nice clean and, you know, shining it up, getting rid of a bit of the rust corrosion or whatnot, let me know. Because um, it's literally, what's this, a £6, £7 investment. Um, the car, I think I've seen, like, a set. This is a while back now, so, I'm, you know, I'm talking a few months. I think I saw a set of this tray and, the, like, a teapot or maybe a teapot and a I don't even know, but it was it was good, like £40, £50, pounds, so if I can get it cleaned up nicely, hopefully I'll be able to get something nice for it. Um, it's just a bit of work that I'm a bit out of my comfort zone doing, but it's got to be done. Um, so yeah, if you have any advice with silver items like this, in particular this, if anyone knows anything about this brand, um, that can probably point me in the right direction for how to clean it, test it or whatnot, let me know. Um, and the last little thing today is I'm going to talk you through the shed. Um, so what I've done is... Basically, I'm converting my mum and dad's shed into a stock room and an office that I'm going to work out of. Obviously, my dad's got stuff in the shed already. Uh, he agreed, you know, I can, you know, do the shed up and stuff. But obviously, he needs to store some of his gear, um, which, you know, outside the shed. So what I've done is he's requested uh, to buy, like, an outdoor like garden shed, basically, to attach onto it. So what I've done, I've just ordered that today. Uh, that should be, in a uh, should be in a few days. So I'll just talk you through. This is the one I've got. Well, my dad's got £160 I paid for it. Um, it's coming in a couple of days. Um, it's a customer return. So basically, it just talks you through what could be. So basically, it's all there. Um, it's it's like a customer return. It could be they changed their mind or they it was too difficult to build. So it's just one of those. It'll be still there. It might have a couple of scratches on when it's been taken out, but it's, you know it does its job. Um, so it's really, really spacious. It'll be able to get what we need to get in there. Um, so let me just see if I can get a couple more pictures. Is there any? There you go. So like it's quite tall. That's like a bike. It's like half the way up the shed. So yeah, hopefully in the next few months I'll be able to work on the shed, get that up and running, and then we can upgrade the business. And hopefully by the end of the year, maybe the start of next year, go full time with it all. So the last little thing I just wanted to ask you: How have you been doing? Uh, is the sales okay on your end? Have you managed to pick anything up? Um, and yeah. Hope you're all well, hope you're all doing good. Um, keep grinding, keep smiling. Um, leave a comment, leave a like. If you enjoyed the video, and you know, hit subscribe. We're, I think we're at 235 now. So yeah, you know, we're getting there, we're, we're growing. We're um, latching onto the community. Uh, I've always been in the community. I've just never actually made my own videos. So it's nice to be uh, a little bit part of it now. So yeah, appreciate you all. I will see you later. Peace.